The man who was behind the wheel of a big rig that plowed into a line of cars on I-26, leaving five people dead, pleads guilty. News 13's Cheryl Barber was in court during his sentencing. Family members of the victim, Cheryl, spoke directly to him. And they told him about the anguish they must live with after he killed their family members. And I see nothing on your face. I see no remorse. Victims lashed out at Roman Velkoff today as he sat beside a translator, repeating the words of family members who came to confront him. He was Charles Joseph Novak the fourth, and that's the end of it. <laughs> that's the end. <laughs> He plowed his 18-wheeler into a long line of cars stopped on eastbound I-26 near the Fletcher exit because of another accident down the road. Gail and Alvin Kimball, Amber Reed, Teresa Seaver, and Chuck Novak died in the wreck. Velkoff was charged with involuntary manslaughter and falsifying driving documents. Involuntary manslaughter doesn't cover this. Do you understand that? This was not involuntary. You did this. You knew that there was a chance that this was going to happen. You had to know that or you wouldn't have lied. Victims' families told Velkoff of the destruction the wreck caused among their relatives. They told the court that a five-year maximum sentence is not punishment enough. And this is his son, Troy. Chuck Novak's mother and his aunt say they will not let time reduce the tragedy of Velkoff's actions. They're actively lobbying trucking organizations and the courts to increase penalties for this kind of wreck. It's, it's nothing. It's a slap on the wrist. It's like my sister said earlier, he's been grounded. I would offer him forgiveness. I want to, and I'm going to eventually. Now, family members have formed a small group that plans to go to Washington in May to make their case for stronger regulations for truckers. Belkoff has been jailed since the accident. He will get credit for spending about half of that five-year sentence behind bars. Reporting live in Hendersonville, I'm Cheryl Barber. News 13.